All right, it's video time in our ongoing. Um, so we're, we're just going to focus in on this one little thing. Um, we were looking at movable forms in our song by ear, which is uh, Stormy Monday, which we're doing in the key of C. And the three chords are 1, 4, 5, C, F, and G7, variations thereof. So we're talking about the G9 form as a substitution for a G7. And it's a movable form. We're covering all four strings. Let me move in. Index finger right here on the fourth fret. And then my other three fingers on the bottom three strings in the fifth fret. No root. Don't ask me where the root is. It's not there. We're filling it in. This is a G9. And if we move our index finger down to the fourth, I'm um, the second fret, and move our other fingers along, that's an F9. Let's go back and forth between these two. So up to the G9, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G9. Call it out with me. F9. G9, great chord substitutions. Now, getting back to what the original video is supposed to be about <laughs> is <clears throat> using a mute technique. Because this is a movable form, we're covering all four strings. I'm up here at the G9. And this is a real little trick that I love to use. I'm going to strum down on the first beat and let it ring, 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 ring. But then I'm going to ease up on the pressure, my left hand, so that when I strum, I get a mute. So this is a mute technique with the left hand. So let me show you. We're going to strum down, now ease up the pressure, and just go down, 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 down. Let's do it again. Down. Now, let's try with our right hand to go down, up, down, up, down, up. You ready? Two, three, four, one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, one. Down, up, down, up, down. Now let's try and do a boom chaka, which would be one. Down, up, down, down, up, one. Down, up, down. See what I mean? We could even throw in the island strum. Watch this. The important thing is to lay down the chord on the downbeat, the first beat, because we'll remember it. And then finally, I was doing a triplet. I was doing several triplets. And a triplet, the way I do it, is, uh, and, and this is. There are many ways to do it. This is just sort of my go-to way. I'm doing down, up, tap. So let me move in so you can see this. I'm going down, up, and then I'm just tapping that G string. And that means we're doing, a triplet means we're doing three things in one beat. So it'd be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the first beat is down, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, wait, wait, one, da, three, four, down, da, da. Let me slow it down for you. So one, two, three, four, down, da, 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 it's a cool technique. I hope you guys are going to work on this. Allie? Yeah.